Samantha saw all that was trip and wanted to go on a trip of her own. <laughs> We're talking down south. <laughs> and, and Trip said, fuck no. <laughs> I don't care what kind of heat you're packing. The cruise was over. <laughs> I don't care what kind of heat you're packing, baby. <laughs> you ain't getting on this ride. <laughs> you ain't getting on this ride. Let's get to another story, a great story, a fun story of epic proportions. <laughs> My mom, this is in 1996, when I'm at that precarious age where I could be tried as an adult. <laughs> no, no. And Tripp here is 17 years old, and we invited, you know, it was you, me, um, we invited Amanda, because Amanda was hanging out with us just barely at that point. Um, her boyfriend, Lucky, who was also named Jason, but we kept calling him Lucky. Dennis Depp. Dennis. Uh, Scott and Tasha showed up. Yeah. Um, I can't remember everybody else. There was quite a few people yeah, all together. There were several people. There were several people. Now, let's keep in mind that this is not exactly like one of those houses where you can fit like a hundred people and be comfortable. That doesn't work. We were in one of those houses where you can fit maybe twelve people. And you're crowded. <laughs> and you're completely <laughs> crowded and you have peaked at the fucking capacity level. You know, <laughs> at peak capacity. Um, and there was at least, oh shit, at least a pound and a half of fucking weed. Because everybody, Scott and Tasha including, Scott and Tasha brought in so much fucking weed, they had it put over on one of our, uh, on one of my pizza pans. I remember pouring it out on that, I was like, uh, uh, uh. I was like, this is enough for me to fucking get, I'm going to prison just looking at this, you know. And then, uh, Dennis brought a shitload of fucking Molson ice. Oh yeah, and uh, uh, the Good other it, oh yeah, and the other people that were invited from invites, uh, uh, people we invited, and then they invited somebody else. They brought in their own hard liquors, whiskeys, and stuff like that. So everybody was smoking up. I remember I got my brother fucking high to where he was in the bathroom and took over the bathroom for half an hour, laughing his ass off while he's taking a shit. I remember, um... We were playing a music set. We played a music set, which lasted about half an hour. Yeah. We had all the crazy lights on. <laughs> you remember the crazy These lights? These are the same lights from the fucking story before over at... <laughs> Believe me, you're not missing out. <laughs> but then we started playing, like, other music from other CDs and stuff. Because we had the Days that Confuse soundtrack. Me <laughs> help <laughs> then we brought the, the Days and Confuse soundtrack, uh, and we were using that. We were playing stuff from that. And uh, uh, then we started playing Party Till You Puke, <laughs> which, which I had gotten from oh God. fucking Spencer's. <laughs> and the reason I remember that we were playing that was because Dennis just had to have the start square and got a knife and cut the fucking board <laughs> to where he... <laughs> and then he'd start kicking the table every once in a while, fucking drop fucking glass bottles, and I had to sweep the shit up. <laughs> <coughs> the cops came twice. Now, bear in mind that I've still got minors in this fucking house, and there's alcohol, and because I'm 19, I can still be arrested for being in the possession of alcohol, even though it's a private residence. So, <laughs> we fucking go through all this shit. The fucking party lasts until about 5 in the morning. Mom was coming home by 11 that morning, and so we couldn't get a drop of sleep. And you and I wound up having to clean up the entire fucking house. No, oh, man. We, I remember us opening up all the fucking windows, all that shit, and we're like, Oh, Jesus Christ, we're going to be in a lot of fucking deep shit and stuff like that. Amanda and Lucky stuck around. 
and we're all fucking cleaning everything out. I wish I could tell you all the details of what happened at this party, but I'm so fucking paranoid about that light coming off in the camera. Mm -hmm. Because the best part of that fucking party was when mom came home, the place was cleaned up, everything was swept, we mopped, which got mom kind of suspicious. <laughs> She's not used to seeing the house clean. <laughs> and she comes up to us, and it's me, you, Amanda, Lucky. All four of us. Now we're smoking cigarettes to where as long as we kept the kitchen window open, Mom didn't give a shit because the, the smoke would, the, the air vent from the ceiling would blow the smoke out of the window. So she didn't mind too much. And um, <laughs> she came in, got done unpacking and stuff. She started cooking and started doing a dinner. So what all did you guys do while I was gone? And I remember the best part. And Tony was standing there. And I remember looking up and I looked over at Mom and I go, Oh, I just had a huge fucking party with all this, we had at least a pound of pot and all this liquor and beer. <laughs> the cops showed up twice. <laughs> A fight almost broke out. I almost had sex on your bed. <laughs> Jason got the finger a chick. <laughs> Amanda, uh, Amanda gave Lucky a blowjob over on your favorite chair. And we ended the night trying to clean the place up before you got home. Which was all true. <laughs> I said the entire truth and everybody was looking at me. What are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck are you giving What the life? fuck are you doing? And what'd she say? Mom's response? D don't say stuff like that. That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> and so what was my response to that? I can't believe you at all. My response to that was like, I was like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, like We watched a few movies. Uh, we watched a few VHS tapes and stuff like that, and, you know, nothing really eventful. <laughs> and she goes, that's what I thought. <laughs> and went back to cooking. Even to this fucking day, after I got arrested, which was August of that same year, even to this day, I wonder if Mom thinks back to that. <laughs> to that moment when I told her the exact fucking truth. Everything that she's ever taught me is like, Tell me the truth. You won't get in trouble. Just tell me the truth. All I ever want to hear is you to talk to me honestly. And here I am telling you everything that fucking happened. The entire truth. Come in, Dad. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, that's what you do to him. Oh, that son of a bitch. He made my son tell the truth and made me not believe. Damn it. He's the devil. Beelzebub is what I call him.